Hello, Jane. Oh, hi. Well, welcome to this, the Outside Xbox Quiz of the Year 2018. <sighs> what a year it's been. It has been a year, that's for sure. Yeah. We saw the release of Red Dead Redemption 2 and some other games, probably. <laughs> and there was also news and other things that happened. Yes. News? Yeah. What? But how well do you remember 2018? Oh, impeccably. I've got perfect recall. There was a 2018? Yeah. Okay. Imagine that. No, I'm, so, it's coming back to me now. We're yep. about to find out, Jane, yep. as we roll into round one. Mm. Mike, 2018 yes. saw the first ever Overwatch League finals, which culminated in a grand spectacle in the Barclays Center in New York. Yes. But how well do you know your Overwatch League teams? Oh. Jane, I'm going to show you some Overwatch team logos, and for one point each, I want you to tell me the name of the team. Oh, okay. I was the one person who didn't get to go to the Overwatch League. Well, it's still big news in 2018, Mike. Should have been watching. Big news for people who get to go to it. Your first... Overwatch League. All right, show team me them. Logo. Let me look tell at me them. What's the name of this well, team? Well. Mike, tell me the name of this team. London Spitfire. Well, that's the London Spitfires, obviously. My boys. The London Spitfire? Yeah. Correct. Go the Spitfire. That is correct. See? It's not so hard, is it, Mike? It's it does easy. have a big picture of a Spitfire. Yeah, well, it's good, isn't it? Right. One point to Jane. I'll suddenly Putting you off the easy. hot fire all over the Overwatch. Suddenly, they're not all as easy. I just wanted to give you like a nice little ease in to the round. Well, we'll see. So, well done. That is one point. Thanks. How are you feeling so far? I mean, good about that one, but yeah. I know that I don't know any of the other ones. Okay, well, <laughs> might be about to take a swift nose dive <laughs> because, Mike, tell me, who is this? Um, the, I mean, that looks atomic to me. The Philadelphia. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. The Washington Protons. The Washington <laughs> Protons is... I mean, that was so confident, If I feel like... Well, it's a P, it and it's right. got like a thing that looks a bit like... Well, I mean, the, the Protons the letter are the is, bit in the middle. That's an electron, isn't it, really? But The know. letter is usually the name of the city. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Uh... See, if it was the Philadelphia protons or atoms or electrons, yeah. then I'd know because it would ring a bell. They were in the final with the London Spitfire. Oh, the Philadelphia cheesesteaks, you're saying. <laughs> the Philadelphia electrons. The, uh, the, the atoms, no. Electrons, protons, positrons, neutrinos, quarks. <laughs> I uh, mean, this is all very impressive. But incorrect. I'm I feel afraid. really bad that I can't remember. Well, Mike, I can tell you that Philadelphia is correct. Yes. But it's the Philadelphia Fusion. Oh my god, I knew that. So I'm going to give you half a point for getting Philadelphia. Can I have a quarter for electrons probably being something to do with fusion? No. Oh, I'm okay. really, really sorry, Philadelphia. You deserve better. You should have better. played better and won the Overwatch no, League, and then you you'd be remembered. I salute you, and I'm sorry <laughs> I forgot few Because I was thinking of... It doesn't matter what I was thinking of. Your third... 16th final offer. No. <laughs> what do you mean offer? <laughs> you don't get to offer. All right, number three. Mike, what is the name of this team? What? That's not a logo. That's an optical illusion. <laughs> That's a sight test. That's a super hexagon uh, it's level. It's the X Factor. Uh, no, it's the... What? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a... Th <laughs> the... Ah, that's rubbish. I mean, it sort of looks like an X, but there's kind of chevrons in there as well. It's the same, so upside down. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The brand identity, guys. Come on. Any guess? Uh, I like that you're showing it to me again. Like, <laughs> oh, no, now I see. Uh, the, the X to... <gasps> I, stop. X to... The democratic team of the nation state of... Hong Kong. Furious fight nexes of Professor Xavier's school for gifted teenagers. Oh, it's close. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer, I'm afraid, Jane, is the New York Excelsior. Oh, God. So, Get off. Yeah. So it's the X. That's Excelsior. the least New York looking thing. And that's <laughs> the least excelsior looking thing as well. So <laughs> back to How the... would you illustrate Excelsior? Like, it's something you'd shout with, like, you'd have to be holding a sword or something, wouldn't you? And be like... You know, Stanley Excelsior. holding a sword. Yeah, exactly. All right. There's I'm two sorry. more. There's two more, Jane. Oh, and now I just thought about Stanley, and oh. I know I'm just sad on so many. Okay. Well, maybe this. So many, many counts. Maybe this will cheer you up, Jane. It's the logo. Seems unlikely, Andy. What team is this? Oh, uh, it's got to be Texas. Okay. Ooh, that's a great logo. Yeah. It's like a, a, a ball made of guns. I know. 
I'm going to say it looks a bit San Antonio-y. Okay. Okay, I'm going to tell you it's not the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Let but, me just stop you there, Jane. Yeah, but, before you embarrass yourself and say the Dallas Cowboys. If you were they're renaming a football the team. Dallas Cowboys and you had a thesaurus beside you, okay, and uh, yeah. it was a different city the, in Texas, the, the, the Jolly Ranchers, <laughs> uh, the San Antonio cow faces made of guns. San Antonio cow faces made of guns. Uh, any advance on the Jolly Ranchers? <laughs> now I've made my choice. Okay, I'm afraid, Mike. It's the Houston Outlaws. Well, close. Close. Very close. I can tell you it's not the Jolly Ranchers. My brain is checked out for 2018. Come it's back in 2019. <laughs> Ask me then. It's the Houston Outlaws. Oh. I got Texas. You did, yeah, you don't get a point for Texas. 16th of a point. It's a big state, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm okay. a big state. You're a big state. <laughs> yeah, you're a big state. We're all a big state. This Andy. quiz is a big state. Yeah. They're never going to let me into an Overwatch team now. <laughs> all right, finally, your fifth and final Overwatch League team logo. Mike, tell me, who is this? Yeah, the dragon. dragons! I mean, none of these things have really had anything to do with anything. Really. So, I want to say that's like Singapore, maybe? Okay. And it's the Singapore Flaming Butt Dragons. The Shanghai Dragons? Beijing Shanghai Dragons, dragons is yeah, correct! Yeah, my boys, yeah. my other boys. The Singapore Flaming Butt Dragons. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mike, I can't give you no, any no, points don't, for but that. The emphasis, no, no, not the flaming butt dragons, the flaming butt dragons. They're not butt okay. dragons, don't say the it The flaming that way. butt dragons. <laughs> so I'm afraid, Mike, it is not the flaming butt dragons. Uh, it's the Shanghai dragons. I mean, that's an easy one. It, it is literally a dragon, so <laughs> what else could it be? Well, Jane, you got two points oh, there I'm sad. in the Overwatch I'm sad. League logos. Oh dear. God, I'm going Should I give him a half point for. I mean, he did say flaming butt dragons. I'm, give, I'm throwing this over to James. Yeah, I, I, I kind of want to, but it feels like you didn't take the question seriously. Yeah, you're right. All right, zero points. <laughs> That's not what this that. is about. So, Mike, you end the Overwatch League. This isn't freaking Mastermind. Round James. with one point. <laughs> round number two, yes. Jane. Lots of news happened in 2018, mm -hmm. but how well Too much, if do you anything. remember the headlines of the year? Mm. This next round, Jane, I'm mm. going to read you mm -hmm. a headline from the website Eurogamer, oh, and I want I you to well. complete the headline. The headline for okay. me. It's going to be missing a word. Is My, it destiny? Yes. It was destiny. Oh the man, answer. such a burn on Eurogamer. <laughs> I hope no one heard that. We're in Eurogamer's office right now. He's coming for me. Sonic's looking slightly blank in first teaser image for next year's movie. I mean, I've seen the teaser image. Mm. That guy has like... What's he looking? Quads of steel. I mean, this was very recent. Mm. Slightly We're new. going back through the year. <laughs> Slightly muscular. Yeah. Uh, uh. I mean, weird is the first word that springs to mind, but I don't think they'd have gone that basic. I think, you know, Eurogamer, they like their long words. Slightly hench. Hench is not a $10 word, no. but I think... He's also not looking slightly hench in that no, teaser. He's really. looking extremely yeah. hench. Weird. 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 Or a synonym for weird. Terrifying. Spot on. Really? Yeah. Amazing. Sonic's looking slightly terrifying in his first teaser image for next year's movie. Well mm. done, Mike. I'm not terrified of Sonic. I mean, I am. Have you seen those Yeah, cards? I've seen the picture. Terrifying. They're great cars. He's got great <laughs> definition. Okay, second headline, Mike. Yes. Scrub star, salty, Fortnite used his blank. Oh, blank. dance. It's, it's dance. Dance. This is correct. It's the it's Turk, isn't it? Off of Scrubs. It's the actor Donald Faison. Was it flossing? It was not flossing. It was um, a specific dance from an episode of uh, Scrubs that was performed by the actor Donald Faison. Ah. And he's uh, noted, noticed that it I, has I appeared oh. without uh, his permission. I didn't read that story, but I saw a lot of um, I saw a lot of other coverage on Fortnite about how it had appropriated all these dances that mm. that were made famous in other places, uh, other music videos and never credited, which of course Apparently it's impossible to copyright a dance, although yes. people are looking at the laws now because it seems unfair. The notion that you can't copyright a dance seems simultaneously fair and unfair. <laughs> yeah, at the same time. Because they are extremely distinctive and recognisable, but also, are you going to tell me I can't do this dance because it's copyrighted? Watch out, that's going to be in Fortnite. That's copyrighted. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't have this dance. Okay, headline number three. A fire-breathing Spyro drone is flying across America to deliver a copy of Spyro Reignited Trilogy to blank. To blank blank. It was Snoop Dogg. It was Snoop Dogg. 
in Correct. the single most amazing news story of 2018. Yes. Do you remember this? I remember uh, it well. It was a weird quadricopter that didn't really <laughs> look like Spyro in any way, shape, or form. They flew. <laughs> they flew a copy of Spyro: Reignited Trilogy to Snoop Dogg on a fire-breathing dragon drone thing, and antics ensued. Look, there he is, right there. Spit that fire one time. Come down here and holler at me one time, nephew. It, uh, it got right? into a lot as it travelled across America. It flamethrowered some stuff, it raced a man in an airboat. Torched some seagulls. Yeah, yeah. accidentally yeah. burned down a school. It didn't really <laughs> do that. But, um, it cannot be legal to mount flamethrowers on a quadricopter. <laughs> Just saying. Say, they did it. Activision, it yeah. check with your lawyers. Great, that's another point, Mike. Thanks. Headline number four. Nintendo fans are splicing Bowser with blank, and now Bowsette is trending. Oh, um... Oh, well, it was like a Princess Bowser. So it would have been splinching him with... I guess it'd have to be Peach. It's not Peach, is it? It's got to be, like, one of the other ones that's in Mario Party. One of the ones who ruins my day in Mario Party. So... Rosalind! It's, Ros it's Rosalina. Rosalina, that one. Right. Rosalina. I'm just going to go for it. It's probably wrong, but... Mm -hmm. Must have been on the yeah. princess characters. Well, Peach. you are correct, yeah. Jane. Yeah. The headline is Nintendo fans are yeah. splicing Bowser with Peach. Bowser. And now Bowsette is trending. Or Beach. Would you yeah. like to see princess a picture Peach. of Bowsette? I, well, I mean, apart from the one I carry with me at all times, yes. Yeah. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Oh wow, that's uh, yeah, that's a more erotic variant uh, than the one I have in my in, wallet. In your mind, yes, <laughs> in your wallet. Sure, but well done. That's another point for you. Great, it seems good. you. That's all that matters. Were up on your news this year. Uh, Twenty-one years after GoldenEye N64 came out, mm. it's official. Mm. Playing as blank was cheating. Odd job. Correct. I mean that was fairly straightforward. I've known for twenty years the playing. I didn't need it to be officially ratified. I'm gonna say Oddjob because that was the that was the cheaty character, right? The and little why was, one. Why was Oddjob cheating? That's not the that. No, that's not. That's I'm just not asking for some more. Uh, you've got the point. I'm just asking for. Because because he was small. It's really difficult difficult to get a bead on. And if you're playing as Jaws, Oddjob can get within your like shooting range, and you can only shoot past him. So this is uh, a, a story. It was an oral history of GoldenEye published in a magazine, and mm. Carl Hilton, who was the lead environment artist on the game, and Mark Edwards, who's the gameplay and engine programmer, put the debate to bed, saying, "If you picked Oddjob, you were a dirty cheat." We all thought it was kind of cheating when we were playtesting with Oddjob, but it was too much fun to take out, and there was no impetus from any of us to change it. No, that's nice. That's nice. So, yeah. If you have a character that is unfair but so clearly unfair, then everyone accepts that it's a, it's a cheaty thing to do. Yeah. Next headline. A mortgage broker worked out the real world cost of a house in blank. GTA Online. It's got to be GTA Online. I don't think a real world mortgage broker would waste their time for any two-bit game that nobody's playing. So it's going to be a big, trendy game. I think the big, trendy game of 2018 is almost certainly Fortnite. So is it Fortnite? No, Jane, I can tell you. It's Skyrim. What? Yep. That's uh, an mortgage, old game. Uh, a I, was think, I, was gonna, I was thinking of saying Skyrim, but mm. I said Fortnite. Uh, this year, mortgage broker LNC Mortgages uh, worked out the real world cost of properties in a bunch of video games, including. Was one of them Fortnite? Including Skyrim, Fallout, Zelda, and The Witcher 3. Would you like to guess how much a house in Skyrim would cost you? Let's say um, hmm. Proud Spire Manor in Solitude. They converted the Skyrim Septim to real world currencies by establishing common grounds between the real world and oh, looking like a at loaf of bread and a like a retail price index. And, uh, yeah, food golden items. Dragon claw. Yeah, food Those items that appear in Paris. Yeah, seven point two million. Oh, like eight hundred thousand pounds. In fact, uh, it's only forty six thousand two hundred eight pounds. Let's all move to Skyrim. Let's all get there and buy Man. houses. Man, hang on. <laughs> You can't buy a house for forty-six thousand pounds. Can in Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your next headline, Jane. Yep. Penultimate headline. Mm. Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery mm. forces you to pay oh, or yeah. wait yeah. to save a kid from what? From lots of things, if I remember rightly. This was a like a pay-to-win or or a pay-to-speed-up things Harry Potter mobile game. Mm -hmm. Strangulation. And if you're like, you've run out of our magic uh, microtransaction currency. Now, your Hermione is going to be strangled by magic thorns for the next 90 minutes. So is that, is that your answer? To save a kid from 
Yeah, like strangulation or, or choking or yeah, being throttled by magic plants. Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery forces you to pay or wait to save a kid from being strangled. Yeah, the kid's like... Eh. <laughs> I wish someone would put the, give me a credit card details. I don't know much about like news headlines on the internet, but I'd imagine that news story did quite a lot of traffic. Yes, I believe it probably did, but um, yeah, that was big news back in April. And finally, Sea of Thieves is having a digital treasure hunt mm. to win blank. Whatever it is, I'm not playing any more Sea of Thieves. <laughs> I already told you where. Oh, it was like a gold-plated ex... Uh, well, mm, I suppose this could be a different promotion or a different competition. You know, at one point there was like a gold-plated Xbox One. Uh, car. Very piratey prize, a, a car. <laughs> 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 oh, was it like a golden banana or something? Correct. Yeah. It was an £80,000 bunch of golden bananas. What? Yeah. So they did, it was like an online uh, treasure hunt that you had to go around the internet Oh, I clues. do remember the ruddy bananas. They yeah. had them made by a goldsmith. I think we made a show the week joke We did, that yeah. yeah. I thought you'd oh, maybe remember. Bananas. That is stupid. <laughs> Five out of eight not in the bad, headline not round. Not bad for the headline round. Not bad at I all. absolutely tanked on the Overwatch one. Yeah. All right, Jane. Uh, you got six out of eight. That's an impressive score. Well Love done. It. I know everything about it. So, Mike, the next round. Yes. One of the biggest releases this year was a little game called Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't know if you remember Never it. Never heard of it. Do you remember that game? No. Nope. Well, I hope you do actually remember <laughs> it because the next round I think I do. Uh, is going to focus quite heavily on it because, Mike, as you know, in Red Dead Redemption 2, you play Arthur Morgan, who's a member of the Vanderlind Gang of Outlaws. Yes. Yes. Who have been on the run. The old VDLs. VDLs. Mm. And there's uh, there's quite a few of them. Mm -hmm. But how well do you remember the <laughs> Vanderlind gang members? I'm going to show you pictures of members of the Vanderlind gang. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking of the VPLs. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different gang. <laughs> <laughs> a Dutch's gang is known as the, the visible panty yeah, lines. <laughs> the visible Dutch lines. All right, first one, going to ease you in. Mike, who's this? That's Uncle. Uncle. That's like young Uncle. Young Uncle. Much young, younger Uncle. <laughs> young Uncle. Yeah. Uh, is that Uncle? It is Uncle. Yay. Correct. There you go. You recognise that old rascal, that old roustabout. Who's this, Jane? Oh. Oh gosh, this is difficult because that's their sort of. Um, this is their key art. It's their key art, which isn't. I contend their key art isn't an exact likeness of them in the game. Oh, Lenny. Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I couldn't. I couldn't tell you. I hope the rest are easier because the the key art is difficult. It's sloping off on me, Lenny. <laughs> Correct. That is Lenny Summers. Lenny. That's not Lenny. It's Lenny. That doesn't look anything like Lenny. Lenny, my boy. Next Vanderlyn gang member, Mike. Who's this? Uh oh, that's the cook, mm -hmm. the catering guy. What's his name? Uh. Is, oh, that's the chef guy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you remember his name? Chef. I don't know, Chefy G. Chefy G. I can't remember. <laughs> I wish he was called Chefy G. So much better. Oh, uh, no, it's Pearson. Oh, yeah. Pearson the cook. Oh, yeah, that's who I take the animal corpses to. Pearson? Yeah. Ugh, what a boring name. He should be called Mr. Chef. <laughs> don't you insult PlayStation Access like that? Oh, yeah, Rob, Rob Pearson. Yeah. I like him. Yeah, well, Better than I like that Pearson. Okay, well. All right, number four. Mm. Who's this? Key art round. <laughs> uh, that's Charles. I don't know. Dave. <laughs> Cowboy Dave. Right? That is Charles, that's correct. That's Charles. That is Charles. Excellent work. That's a point. No point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next gang member. Who's this? Tell me now. Uh, that's Javier. Javier. That's Javier Escuela. Correct. And I pronounce Javier, Javier. correctly. Javier. Have yourself. Have your Merry little Christmas. Correct. Yeah. It's another point. A bit harder this one. Who's this? Oh. Oh. Okay, so she is one of the camp followers who's not Sadie mm -hmm. or Abigail. Yeah. Uh, is she called Mary? It's not Tilly. Not Tilly. It's Mrs. Someone or other? No. Ellen, Mary Sue, Mary Kate, Mary Jane, Mary J. Blige. Mary. I'm going to give you half a point. Got, because, thanks. Yeah, because her name is Mary Beth. I'm going to give Mary you half Lou. a point because you've got half her name. It's Mary Beth. Ah, right. So, Uncommonly hyphenated in these modern times, yeah. Mary and Beth. All right, next one. Yeah. Who's this? That's not Micah, is it? 
Is it Micah? Key art's bad. Key art doesn't look anything like characters. <laughs> Yeah, I just thought it might be, you know... James said it was Micah. Yeah. And James said he would have said it was Micah. It's not Micah! Micah's got a huge moustache! Maybe you should still give us all a point. No. Including James. I will not. James never gets points. <laughs> Why do you want to leave out James? Because it's not Micah! <laughs> no one gets a point for saying Micah! <laughs> I don't know. Um, Trevor. Okay. <laughs> it's just not... Wrong game. Trevor. <laughs> You're thinking of Grand Theft Auto V. <laughs> that is Sean Maguire. No, Sean yeah. Maguire's got red hair! Yeah, it's red. Oh! He had a pop career, didn't he? Yeah. He was in Hollyoaks or something. Yeah. All right, penultimate, who's that? It's that mysterious dude who... I don't know. It's probably the devil. Like the like death or... He does look a lot like the he strange man, He looks like the strange man, man from Red Dead 1, but I don't know who he is. Unfortunately, it is uh, Josiah Trelawney. Josiah Trelawney. Correct. Wow, you got that. That's good. Yeah. I'm impressed. Who's this? No idea. <laughs> no, that's Dutch. Right? I don't know. It looks a lot like Dutch to me. Doesn't I think like you should Dutch. probably give me a point. <laughs> He's got ginger hair. All oh, right, okay. Everyone has moustaches, which is confusing, Everyone's got moustaches. Oh, is he the Reverend? Yes. Well, then why is he Do not wearing like name? a dog collar? Reverend... Oh... Old ginger, but with no D. An apostrophe. Old, Final answer. Old ginger. Old, yeah, but with the apostrophe. Uh, Jimmy McBible, I don't know. Reverend Jimmy McBible, correct. <laughs> what is it? It's uh, Reverend Swanson. Swanson. All right. Okay. So that was, I'm going to give you half a point for Reverend. Well, Mike, I can tell you, you got four and a half points in that round, which... Cool. It's actually not bad. Would have got so, Tilly. Tilly's not Yeah, favorite. well, Tilly's not in it, is she? So, so you got four out of nine mm -hmm. in that round. Mm -hmm. Jane, how do you mm -hmm. feel about that? I'm all right. <laughs> you're, you're all right. I'm all right, boy. 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 Still upset about the key art. <laughs> well, maybe you'll fare better mm -hmm. in our penultimate round of uh -huh. the year, Jane. The uh -huh. music round. Oh, okay. So I'm going to play you some music. Yeah. From some These games. are all Andy's strengths. Red the... Dead music. Well, I wrote the quiz. So. Okay. <laughs> um, and I want you to tell me the name of the game. Okay. So, first game. Is this song? I see a piece. That is CV. Correct. Do you know the name of the song? Uh, it's the one I play while I'm drunk uh, with my squeeze box and my hurdy gurdy. Correct. <laughs> that is the name of the song. No, it's called Boson Bill. Yeah, nice little bit of pirate music. So well done. That's a point mm -hmm. for Boson Bill. All okay. right. Your next bit of music, Jane. Mm. I want you to tell me what game this is from. Mm -hmm. Good, catchy. You're, you look like you're really enjoying it, Andy. So it's probably something they play in a saloon in Red Dead. It's a bit jazzy for the 1890s, mate. Come I on. I don't think so. That's some like piano stuff. Okay, it's a bit like Wild West saloony. So I want to say Red Dead Redemption 2. And um, yeah, Red Dead Redemption. Say Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. I mean. I can tell you, it's two instruments: the banjo and the piano. Okay, I can tell you, Jane, that piece of music is from A Way Out. It's when... Uh, ah, of course, you can play it as a duet yeah, in A Way Out. Yeah, the guys play a duet oh, on the piano and the banjo. Folksy number, as jazzy folksy thing. They pause their escape for a nice oh. little uh, jam session. Yeah, I remember, because it's, it's a little bit cacophonous. Maybe, maybe like how John Marston invented the aeroplane with that guy. Maybe I'll The aeroplane had already been invented in when Red Dead Redemption 1 is set. Yes, it has. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, next bit of music. Yes. Mike, shut up and listen to this. Ooh. I like it. This is amazing. It's not Bayonetta, but it's from the same school. Is it from like a spooky level in Mario Party or something? I mean, it's a horror game, but like clearly not a very scary horror game. I have no idea. It sounds like the stage from a fighting game or something. Do you want to elaborate on that? Uh, yeah, it does sound like the kind of energetic stage music from a fighting game. Um, I can't remember any fighting games that came out this year. Though. Smash Bros, like, just sort of goth level. 
Correct, Super Jane. Smash that is Bros. from Goth level. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. It's yeah. the Louise, Luigi's Mansion series medley. Yes. From the Luigi's Mansion stage. So yes. well done. That's a point. Literally playing it last Literally week. Literally playing it last week. And we played on that level, in fact. You... So you well, have heard it. I wasn't listening it. to the music. I was busy yeah. smashing That's true. some bros. That's true. So no points there. Uh, next piece of music. Mike, what game is this from? Is this Red Dead Redemption 2? This is very pleasant. And Western. It's got to be Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm going to keep saying Red Dead Redemption 2 until one of the songs is Red Dead Redemption 2. It is Red Dead Redemption 2. Do you nice. remember what part of the game this is from? God, no. Probably haven't played that part of the game yet. Uh, it's the drinking mission, right? It is. Yeah. It's the mission where you go drinking with Lenny. And the, and the, yeah. And then everyone's face turns into Lenny. Lenny! <laughs> Lenny, my boy. I can't remember. I was too drunk. <laughs> Correct. And finally. Yeah. Jane, I want you to tell me what game is this from? Ooh, smooth. So smooth. You say this came out in 2018. I thought we'd lost the technology for creating this kind of music. Oh my god. It's just making me want another Vice City game. This is amazing. Whatever it is, I didn't play it. I would certainly remember this. This is great. I don't know what it is. You don't know what it is? No. Any ideas? That's the chorus is about to be <laughs> yeah, probably the name of the game. Yeah, it was. What is it? A parody. A parody of something like 80s-ish. <gasps> is it Night Trap? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That didn't come out this year. Well, Jane, let me tell you, it was released on the Switch this year, so it technically counts. You tricked me. Night Trap. Night Not gonna find you. Night Trap. Night trap. Good. Yeah, so. Probably a better song than it was a game. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Uh, so that's three out of five in the music mm. rounds, which is an excellent performance, Jane. You should be very pleased with yourself. I am. Yeah. See you, thieves. Um, Night Trap. Re released on the trap. Switch. <laughs> One of the great gaming moments of 2018. Of the year. <laughs> I think we all remember. All right, so that's three points there, which is uh, good. So the final round, Mike, the, uh, the ultimate test of your gaming knowledge. All right. You know earlier uh -huh. when you said everything seemed to be Andy themed. Andy themed. All right. But welcome to Andy's the final. Andy's favourite shoes. Welcome to the final round, Jane. All right. Which is name that beard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you a picture of a oh, video game beard boy. from 2018. I love it. And I want you to tell me. Yes. Who the beard belongs to? Yes. Uh, it's Kratos. That's a Kratos beard if ever I saw one. Oh, it's Kratos. That's your boy Kratos. Well, let's take a look. Yeah, at that's the, rebooted uh, Kratos there. Let's, let's take a look at the full picture. Boy. There he yeah. is, old Kratos, god of war. Angry daddy. Being all Norse now. Whose beard is that? Imagining a face on top of it. Is it Luke's Arthur Morgan? <laughs> <laughs> it's someone with a gun, like an ammo belt. So it's got to be like a Red Dead Redemption 2 character. But who has a beard that wild? In Red Dead Redemption 2. Apart from Arthur, if you really don't look after it. I guess uh, I've never seen Arthur with like the fullest full beard he can have, so maybe it's Arthur. Yeah, <laughs> but that's um, if you are caning the hair tonic. You can, that is that's where you can get it looking outrageous. Right. Good, right? You could hide an extra gun in there. Yeah, like, <laughs> in a pinch. Pull out a little derringer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Look at Man, that. Man, that beard is bigger than his entire head. Got to be caning the hair tonic to Jeez, get that yeah. facial fuzz going on. We can do that, James. He should be. Yeah. He should be in like a travelling uh, show. <laughs> he wouldn't need to be a cowboy. He could just charge people just travel like a nickel to see his gigantic to, beard. To comb his soft beard. Man. All right. That's awesome. Are you ready? I might try and grow it now. <laughs> <laughs> For beard number three. Yeah. Jane, whose beard is this? Ah, oh, it looks like Adam Jensen's. That is the beard of one Mr. Vampire off of Vampire. Correct. Do you remember yeah. his name? Um... Jonathan Blood Drinker. Correct. No, it's Jonathan something or other. Yeah. It's Dr. Jonathan Reed ah, from yes. Vampire. Very memorably named Jonathan Reed. Uh, if I pull up the full picture, mm. we can See all haircut. enjoy. It's got quite a modern look, I think. Look, he's got going on there. Yeah. So there it is. He looks, Vampire. as it turns out, exactly like Adam Jensen. Like Adam Jensen. <laughs> has a similar, like, elaborate jacket. It's got a real pointy beard going on. Mm. Uh, okay, um, that's unfortunate, but we can make, maybe make it up with the next beard. 
Mike, I'm going to show you. I want you to tell me whose beard is this. Okay, I'm looking at a beard that has a lot of mutton chop sort of action going on. Mm -hmm. A lot of side beard and not so much front beard is, I believe, the correct technical correct, term. Correct, yeah, those are the terms. Hmm. Now, it's a very familiar looking beard. But I'm struggling to place it. I don't know. I don't think it's a protagonist because I think a protagonist would have a better beard than that. It's clearly like an NPC from some other game. No idea? No, All right. certainly not. I'm going to show you the full expanded image. It's the specialist Talk from Call of Duty what? Black Ops 4. I would never have got that in a million years. <laughs> it's Talk. Oh my god, it's One of the specialists Black Ops. Yeah, from Black yeah, Ops 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember this guy? I do, yes. Uh, yeah, well, I do. I remember Talk. Impressive facial hair on, um, on Talk. The, uh, the Scottish specialist. Yes, I should have realised that the Lumberjack shirt was tartan. All Scottish people have to have tartan on them in video games, it's just the law. Alright Jane, your okay. final beard okay. of the year. Uh -huh. Who's this? Final beard of 2018, and that is... Who is that? Uh, huh. Hmm. I mean that face looks real familiar. It's a curious piece of, I want to say key art, Andy. Don't Don't trick me with <laughs> What's key it, art. Why are you going to hate on key art? It's because good. it's not in game. It's yeah, not. Good. And this feels recent. I feel like I saw that beard recently. So. I don't know. It doesn't even look like it's from a game because it's key art. Oh, it's so. Oh, it just looks so familiar to me, and yet mm. I have no idea. It's going to be a game that Andy's into, I guess. <gasps> it's Snake from oh Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Days. That's his Smash Bros Ultimate oh, look. Oh, it looks so weird. Oh, it's, that actually is not who I thought it would be. <laughs> and also, looks nothing like Snake. It's the Snake from Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Yeah, and no other game. <laughs> hmm. Well, Jane, you got three out of five in hmm. the in the beard round. Okay, adequate. Passing adequate. grade. Okay, so I'm going to tot up your scores okay. right now if okay. you want to uh, just fill the time. How if you wish. Okay. Well, Mike, I can tell you you got 15 and a half points. That seems like a solid result. You, Jane, have got 18 points. Oh, which is, uh, is that good? And it, well, I don't Out know. Out of how many? It's an impressive total. Okay. So, unfortunately, you have been defeated in this quiz of the year. Damn. Well, 18 was points enough, it turns out, and I am the winner of the qu News Quiz 2018. With 2018 and 18 points, it's like it was meant ah. to be. The, the victory. Yeah, that's why yeah. I got 2018 points. Yeah. Do you have a special New Year's message for us? I'll get you next time, what, viewers. The, the viewers? <laughs> Please disregard all threats from Michael Channel. I'm coming for you. No, viewers. stop threatening our viewers. <laughs> so, no. Congratulations on making it through another year. That's a 100% survival rate if you're watching this message. Woo! So, good job. Um, Let's call that a rehearsal for 2019. Let's all of us do better. <laughs> so a do over. Yeah. yeah, in 2019. Yeah, let's announce 2018's non-canon. 2019 is just 2018 the do over. Great, I love it. <laughs> 2018 Perfect. version two. <laughs> and we'll all just we'll all just do really good this. I mean the last time was needed work. <laughs> So let's all of us resolve to do better. He means thank you for watching and we'll be back next year with I more mean, exciting premium content. I mean thank you for watching and we'll be back next year with more exciting premium content. Thank you Mike. And maybe a quiz I might win for once. Yeah. Andy. Beards, quiz and Red Dead Redemption. Sure. Your specialist <laughs> subject, not mine. Thanks for watching guys.